what's up youtube welcome to the video so this video is sequel to the series in which uh, we created the firebase authentication we created this registration page the login screen and after the login this home screen appeared so previously we added the users on firebase authentication with their email address and after that firebase generated this uid uh, which is unique to a user we then saved the information uh, of the user with their uid onto the real time database so this is the uid and the user's first name and last name is saved here so if we want to delete uh, the user we also need to delete the information which was saved within the real time database so let's do that and to get started we actually need the help from bootstrap because uh, i want to open a confirm delete uh, dialog box uh, when the delete button is pressed so for that model will help uh, and we need this type of model copy and paste it in the start of the body and uh, I will copy this button and this will be placed with the sign out button right before it margin and uh, 3 now let's change the uh, content of the model we will call it delete confirmation and the body will have a password uh, input which I will copy from here so we will put the password here and uh, the user will be required to type the password again when deleting the user this is also a requirement from firebase uh, to avoid deleting a user which is uh, logged in for a long time so the user must be recently logged in we will ask for password then re-authenticate the user and then delete the user and these buttons will be called let's make this danger and we will give it an id of confirm delete button we can also put a paragraph saying that do you want to delete this user so this looks complete and uh, let's try this and uh, let's create a new user so amazing code verse 2 and Raza Hassan create a new user now sign in login so the new user is logged in and we have a delete this user button if I click this this pop-up will appear saying that do you want to delete this user and asking for a password now the first thing is we have to get this uh, confirm delete button uh, reference inside our script now what we need to do is we need to get the firebase configuration in the home page so this is our uh, configuration let me copy all of this we also need to make the uh, script s type module we only need the remove function from the firebase database and and from the auth library we need so these are the functions that are required so now 
let's use these functions so the sign out function is basically required to be used because uh, we are now using the advanced functions uh, from the firebase authentication so we are deleting the user and in the next video we will gonna be updating the password and information of the user so it is required that we also sign out from the firebase not just our app so we will upgrade the uh, sign out function of our app and use the sign out function from the firebase so this sign out requires auth dot then after we successfully signed out from the firebase we will execute the lines which are required to be signed out from our application so this is our sign out function and inside that we are using the uh, sign out function from the firebase so so we are converting whatever value to into a string then checking that if the value is null or after replacing all the white spaces with empty string if the length is still less than one then this value is considered to be null or white spaces then this condition will become true so we will use it inside our delete user function so delete user and uh, we have to be careful because the firebase uh, uses the same name for its function delete user it's just that our sign out and our delete user has a capital D and a capital S first of all we need the uh, current information of the logged in user so we will use auth dot current user but the problem with this is this auth which we uh, initialize right here using the get auth function the problem is that the current user property that we are using is not populated right away it takes time so if the user is logged in and he tries to delete the user immediately then the delete could fail because the auth dot current user is not loaded immediately it takes a little time so to avoid this problem so when the home page is loaded the delete button will be disabled so by defining on auth state change uh, we are defining an active event listener uh, which will help us when the auth uh, dot current user is populated so we will pass uh, an arrow function which will have user we will uh, put a condition that if the user so if user is populated then Uh, we also have to give the uh, delete button an ID so the delete user button dot disabled equals to false so this will enable the delete user button if the user is not undefined or null so whenever the auth uh, dot current user is populated this will uh, enable the delete user button now we will use the validation uh, from the function that we created is null or white spaces so we don't need the password empty we also need the reference of the password so the password input
dot value so if uh, if the password uh, input is null then alert type password and return so do not proceed this function if this doesn't happen then proceed with the function and now we need to get the credential object which is required for the re-authentication function so we get this credential object from email auth provider from firebase dot credential from this user object we can get email and we will get the password from the password input dot value now we, we will use the re-authenticate function so that we have fresh credentials from the user and we can proceed with the delete user function so re-authenticate with credential keep in mind that there is no s after the credential so we will pass the entire user object and the credentials constant that we defined here dot then an arrow function so after uh, we have re-authenticated the user first thing I will do is use the remove function from the firebase so this function will remove the uh, data from the uh, real-time database so I need to give it the, the path the path is user list and uh, we can get the UID from the user so remove the credentials and then we will uh, we will use the delete user function and uh, I am writing the uh, delete from firebase function and the delete from firebase authentication function separately because in any case if we don't have the data in the real-time database or we don't have the data inside the uh, firebase authentication it should still delete the data from the other side so both of these functions should be independent of each other uh, the confirm delete button should have an event when it is clicked I need to correct uh, one thing which is this remove function does not just requires the path it requires the ref function which requires db plus the path so this will be the complete remove function and this function on the other hand will remove So now if I refresh this it's asking for the password if I try it without the password it says type password so copy the password from here paste it yes delete so the user is deleted and now let's check the information uh, is getting is getting deleted from the firebase real-time database and the user is gone so the complete information of the new user has been wiped out if I try to log in with the new user it's saying that invalid login so the user does not exist So this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time